Good evening to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange, British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting, and after a day when my AOL had been switched off, for reasons that are not apparent, I could do a few videos for you. Right, we're going to Victor Record. Now, I don't know this bloke, but presumably some of you Americans will. Will Rogers nominates Henry Ford for President. Spoken humorous monologue by Will Rogers. Well, I don't know who he is, but uh, maybe you do anyway. We'll let him speak for himself. Toastmaster, gentlemen, you too, politician. The Democrats are the middle of the road party. The Republicans are the straddle of the road party. So I hereby nominate Mr. Henry Ford for president and christen the party the all over the road party. In the first place, it's too bad he is the competent. That is the only thing that'll be. Mr. Ford's a good friend of mine, and years ago, he overlooked the suggestion that would have made him immortal. It was when he went over to stop the war. I wanted him to take the girls we had in the Follies and let them wear the same costumes they wore in the show and march them down between the trenches. Believe me, the boys that have been out before Christmas. He has made more money than any man in the world by paying the highest wages. Yet, he don't even manufacture necessities. Neither would you call it a luxury, it just kind of comes under the heading of knick-knack. I was at his home last year and happened to ask him that in case of a stiff opposition, just how cheap he could sell his car. He said, well, I will, by controlling the selling of the parts, I, I could give the cars away. He said, why, well, those uh, things would shake off enough both in a year to pay for themselves. Second year, that's just pure profit. People think Dr. Cooley was the originator of auto suggestion, but Mr. Ford is. He originated all those suggestions when he made the synopsis of a car. He has just recently lowered the price to fifty dollars. That's done to discourage thievery. He is the first man that ever took a joke and made it practical. So let's let him take this country. Maybe he can repeat. He should make a good political race. He carries two-thirds of this country now. There's no reason why there shouldn't be a Ford in the White House or everywhere else. He's the only man that could make Congress earn their salary. He would start a bill through and give each one something to tack on to it. When it come out, it would be ready to use. He is the only man that when Congress started stalling could lift up the hood and see what was the matter with it. Some are against him because he don't know history. What we need in there is a man that can make history, not recite it. Now, if Mr. Ford will just take another one of my suggestions, he can be elected. If he will just make one speech and say, Voters, if I am elected, I will change the front on them. Well, there we go, viewers. Presumably American uh, viewers.